It's now easier than ever to get a COVID-19 shot, and there's plenty of vaccine available, and in some cases, you can get one on the spot. Well, during the final week of March, 52,000 South Dakotans received the vaccine. Last week, that number dropped to just 34,000. Kelly Land's Kelly Volk takes a look at what could be playing a role in that trend and talks with a doctor who has a message for you. Kelly? Yeah, good evening, you two. A Vera family physician, Dr. Chad Turry, says when COVID vaccinations first started, we had a lack of vaccine and a lot of people wanting it. Now, he says there's plenty of vaccine, but less demand than what was anticipated at this time. Angela Furness is getting the COVID-19 vaccine so she can have more protection against the virus. I was very apprehensive about going in, you know, out into public without something to protect myself besides just the, the mask. So. The Sioux Falls woman has no concerns about getting the shot. However, there is some vaccine hesitancy among others for a variety of reasons. There's some people that are um, that are just never gonna get vaccinated. And um, I, I don't think we're gonna unfortunately be able to convince them. But I think there's some that just uh, have some hesitancy. They maybe needed to be educated a little bit more on uh, some of the concerns that they have. Dr. Turry says COVID-19 vaccines are extremely safe. There's certainly uh, risk and benefit when it comes to anything that we do and, and vaccines are the same. If you look at severe complications uh, from vaccines, extremely low. Um, is it a possibility? Yes, but once again, um, extremely, extremely low as far as any type of severe adverse reaction. He says if you're on the fence, get vaccinated. If you have questions, get the facts from your primary doctor. If we want to get back to uh, normal and kind of do uh, normal activities, then we really need to continue to vaccinate more people and get closer to that herd immunity. While Furness will continue taking COVID safety precautions, she feels relieved that she has both doses of the shot now. Feel a little bit better, a little bit more safer. Dr. Turi also pointed out some people who think of themselves as healthier are allowing others to get the vaccine first, but he says now is the time to get vaccinated. He also says a concern he hears a lot about is fertility. He says there's no evidence that COVID-19 vaccines impact fertility. All right. Thanks a lot, Kelly.